Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Sunday afternoon, July the 24th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to Saratoga first for the Race 9 feature, 5.18 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Sanford Stakes. Six furlong sprint on the dirt, grade two, two-year-olds race for $150,000. Contenders number six, Overdriven. Number seven, Power World. Number three, Mon. And number one, Tarpy's Goal. You folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, the Sanford Stakes is named for the famed Sanford family. In Saratoga's early days, the Sanford horses were often walked to the racetrack from the family's hurricane farm in nearby Amsterdam, New York. Their first appearance at Saratoga was in 1880. Sanford named all of his favorite thoroughbreds after the local Mohawk Indian tribe. Here in the 97th renewal of this great stakes test, number six overdriven comes off a maiden breaking power run win in his first asking 22 days ago at Belmont Park. Jockey John Velasquez and trainer Todd Pletcher send him poster for the Sunday feature. They've hit the board with 56% of nearly 400 entries saddled as a team to date. Number seven, Power World, a five to one shot, takes a class drop at the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. He's hit the board in power run fashion in both of his last two outings, including a power run win to break his respective maiden in his first asking. Race nine summary, number six, Overdriven, tops my contenders list, which also includes number seven, Power World, number three, Man, and number one, Tarpy's Gold, 6731, and ninth from Saratoga, the $150,000 grade two Sanford Stakes. Let's go to Monmouth Park in New Jersey for their race 10 feature, 524 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Desert Vixen Stakes, eight and a half furlongs on the turf, three year old Phillies race for $70,000. Contenders number one, Master Shade. Number three, Pinch Pie. Number nine, Mount Holiday. And number four, My Sunshine Gal. Number one, Master Shade, a nine to two shot is a rare Italian bred entry racing in North North America is the overall speed leader in this field racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the grass has posted a pair of power run wins in her three career starts to date. Number three, Punch Pie, four to one in the morning line as the pace profile leader comes off a power run win her last time out. Race 10 summary. Number one, Master Shade tops my contenders list today, which also includes number three, Punch Pie, number nine, Mount Holiday, and number four, My Sunshine Gal, one, three, nine, four. In the 10th today from Monmouth Park, the $70,000 Desert Vixen Stakes. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race four, the four to one shot, make that a five to one shot. Number one, who, why, the overall speed leader in the $150,000 grade three Charlie Mann stakes racing at or about this afternoon's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Canterbury Park race five, the speed honors in this maiden field are shared by the 10 to one bomb number two, Peter the Patriot and the nine to two shot number 11, tough enough. So from both Saratoga and Monmouth Park on a Sunday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it. <laughs>